All right, everybody. Good afternoon, uh, V Nation. We appreciate everybody's attendance at, at today's press conference. On behalf of the Department of Collegiate Athletics, it's our pleasure to welcome each of you to today's press conference to officially announce our new head men's basketball coach, uh, Lou Hill, and his family, uh, his wife Renee, and his uh, children, LJ and L. Uh, welcome to the Valley. <laughs> best part about the cute one right here is she's my daughter's age, so they, she got a new friend uh, right off the bat. You know, our number one goal uh, when we ran this national search was to run a very efficient search, uh, be, very, be, be very quick uh, and efficient in, in, in uh, securing our new head men's basketball coach. Uh, we wanted to be able to finish this search no later than the end of the national championship game. Uh, I can tell you we received hundreds and hundreds of emails and phone calls and text messages uh, in a very short period of time. And when I say that, it's about 72 hours. Uh, it was uh, pretty crazy when you're looking to uh, hire a, a head men's basketball coach. And everybody in the country uh, really is, is looking uh, to have an opportunity uh, to, to, to become a head coach at a school like the UTRGV. Uh, you know, it was about a 15-day search. Uh, you know, we uh, uh, had used a search firm, uh, Turnkey Search. Uh, we had an individual named Gene DiFilippo uh, who assisted us uh, along in that search. And I can tell you, uh, we went very, very fast, uh, and we had a deep pool of candidates. Uh, this was a coveted job. Uh, I will tell you, uh, in regards to uh, the pool, uh, it was from conferences, Power Five conferences all over the country. And, and I can tell you that one man rose above uh, the rest. And, and we're very excited about having Lou Hill as our next uh, head men's basketball coach. Uh, I do have a number of people to thank. Uh, in regards to the search, I want to start with the search committee. Two individuals uh, who worked their tails off, uh, Farrah Montai, who's our senior associate AD, senior women's administrator, and serves as our sport administrator. Vince Volpe, who's our deputy director of athletics and chief operating officer. They spent an awful lot of time in that 15 days in dealing with HR, dealing with uh, the interview setup, and as well as vetting and researching a lot of the candidates. So I want to thank both Farrah and Vince for your involvement in the search. Thank you. Uh, as I indicated, we uh, used the search firm Turnkey Sports. Uh, they helped us facilitate uh, the search in a very uh, efficient and expedited manner. I do want to personally uh, uh, thank Gene DeFilippo. Uh, he has over 20 years' experience as an athletic director at both Boston College and Villanova. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to, to bring that back up. Uh, but his, his experience uh, and ability to get the athletic directors and, and basketball coaches across the country uh, was very tremendous in us being able to get a pool very quickly. And we were about a week ahead of schedule uh, in, in, in announcing this uh, final search. And so very excited uh, uh, to have Turnkey uh, as part of this process. We couldn't have done it without him. And, and so I thank, uh, thank Gene and, and their team. I do want to thank two individuals. Uh, one just walked in the door. Uh, you can't do a search without a good HR department. Mike James, our director of HR and their staff, uh, helped us a tremendous amount in facilitating this process. Karen Adams, who's our chief legal officer, uh, from day one uh, until even today when the contract negotiations, uh, the two of them are uh, great ambassadors for this university in both those respective areas. And, and I want to thank both Mike and Karen for your assistance in this process. Uh, of course, I've got to thank my wife, uh, you know, she, Alicia King, uh, who's our Associate Vice President for Development here at the university as well. Uh, in a 15-day search, that means I probably spent anywhere from 16 to 18 hours a day uh, on this search. And what was unique about it was the fact uh, that my uh, art her in-laws were here for 11 days, uh, and so she had to spend an awful lot of time with the in-laws while I didn't, and so I'm sorry and thank you. <laughs> we do have two special guests here today. I want to recognize uh, head coach Long Kruger and his wife Barb, uh, head coach at University of Oklahoma. They flew in today uh, just to be here with Lou and his family on this special occasion. Uh, I think a lot of you know uh, Coach Kruger was the head coach here from uh, 1982 to 1986, so uh, it's been about 30 years uh, since he was here. But what he's done uh, since then is just tremendous. Uh, you know, he's been the head coach at five different Division I institutions. Uh, he's the only head coach in, in Division I history that's won a tournament, NCAA tournament game at five different institutions. Uh, he's been part, uh, he's one of four active coaches uh, in Division I that's uh, been to three Elite Eights. And of course, he's been to two Final Fours, including the Final Four this past weekend. And so we can't thank the both of you enough for, for being here in attendance. I do want to tell a quick story uh, before I turn it over to Doc Bailey. Uh, coach Kruger called me 24 hours after we made a decision uh, to move in a different direction and, and hire a new head men's basketball coach. And he says, how can I help? Uh, he's 48 hours away from uh, the first round of the NCAA Division I tournament. And here's a guy who's, who's contacting me wanting to know how he can help. 
we talked a little bit. We talked about the investment this university has made in this men's basketball program. We talked about the new 9,000 seat arena that we'll move into in the 2017 season. Uh, and, and he says to me, he says, I, I, I've got your guy, but let me get back to you. Eight hours later, he calls me back and he says, I want you to hire Lou Hill. <laughs> And I would already gave you all the accolades and, and his background. It's kind of hard to go against him. And I know your, your agent's here, but that is your number one agent right there, Coach Kruger, no doubt about it. Some of the things he told me uh, about Coach Hill, the strong character, the strong value system that he has, the ability to develop meaningful relationships and connections with the student athletes, those are what we were really looking for uh, in our next head coach. And so, Coach, thank you so much. Uh, I, I appreciate that you're, you're allowing us to steal one of your best assets uh, from your Final Four team. Uh, but I can't be more excited about having him on board and, and want to thank both of you. Uh, I'd like to personally thank our president, Dr. Guy Bailey. Uh, we've worked together now for the past two years. His, his support and advice throughout this process has been immeasurable. Uh, you're only as good as your president, uh, and, and any good athletic director will tell you that. We spent an awful lot of time uh, with the final candidates. He spent an awful lot of time. Uh, his vision and ability to articulate the future of this university and where our athletics program was going really was a, a big reason in, in Coach Hill deciding on becoming the next head men's basketball coach. So thank you very much, Dr. Bailey. My pleasure. With that said, I want to be able to turn the mic over to Dr. Bailey to say a few words on behalf of the institution. Uh, first of all, I want to thank all of you for being here today, and I want to thank you on behalf of the ninth largest university in the state of Texas, 28,500 students last fall. I think this coming fall we will be the eighth largest University in the state of Texas with more than 29,000 students. Uh, we are a growing, dynamic institution. As you know, we officially opened our doors last August. We've had a number of red letter days, significant days in the history of the institution. <clears throat> this is one of them. This is an important day. You'll look back on this and you'll think this is one of the great days in the early history of this institution. Uh, I've been doing jobs like this for a while now and had the opportunity to interview a number of different coaches and uh, uh, I've never met anybody more impressive than Lou Hill. We had dinner, I went home and I thought, we got a coach, <laughs> we got a coach. And so Chris and I touched base and you know, I, I've, uh, I thought this is a guy who can help us get where we wanna go, <clears throat> where we can go with integrity do this program right and win. I have absolute confidence in him. Uh, it's interesting, of course, I spent some time in the Big 12, and so uh, <clears throat> I got lots of contact. I had a lot of people from the Big 12 office contact me, coaches, uh, associate ADs, ADs, people from around the Big 12 saying, this is a great guy, this is a character guy, a, a great coach. Uh, <clears throat> I can't tell you how, how widely his support is, how broad his support is. He's a tremendous man. He's a great recruiter, great coach. You guys are going to love him. It's great to see the team here. And by the way, I should thank the women's team as well. They had a great year, and we appreciate your support, other, other athletes here. Uh, <clears throat> what I think you're going to find is the entire university coming together behind our athletics program. It's very significant. I want to point out some people. This is our chief academic officer here today. Our chief advancement officer is here today. My chief of staff and our VP for operations is here today. You mentioned our legal counsel is here today. The entire university is coalescing behind this hire and behind our athletics. I think we've got a great future. You're going to see great basketball next year. You're going to come out and see the women play well. You're going to come out and see the men uh, play well. We've got a terrific future and we've got the right guy to lead us. So Coach Hill, your family, welcome. It's great to have you here. I look forward to working with you for many years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me just take a minute or two to talk a little bit about Coach Hill. You know, after conducting a national search, you know, we, as I indicated, we identified a number one candidate. We got him. Uh, he's been part of uh, three Power Five institutions: uh, Texas A&M, UNLV, and the University of Oklahoma. Uh, some of the uh, statistics that just kind of go off the chart a little bit is, you know, he's worked for Coach Kruger now for 12 years at both UNLV and, and the University of Oklahoma. It's pretty amazing. They have almost a 700 winning percentage uh, at both those institutions over uh, the past 12 years. What's a, a remarkable statistic to me is, is over the past decade, 
Nine of those 10 years, they've had 20 plus win seasons, which is kind of unheard of in, in the college basketball industry. And there's only a few uh, schools in the country that can uh, really talk about that kind of level of success. When we were looking at Coach Hill, uh, one of the things that, that as Dr. Bailey uh, expressed that came out is his high character, his strong value system, the kind of person he is. Uh, I talked about his ability to develop meaningful relationships and connect with the student athletes, which was one of the key ingredients we were looking for in our next head coach. You know, he's one of the top recruiters in the nation, and most importantly in the state of Texas, including, uh, which is very important uh, to us, is in the, in the cities of Houston and Dallas. And anyone that knows college basketball knows that the lifeblood of, of, of your, your team is your recruiting. And so we're getting one of the best recruiters and one of the best coaches in the country. And I can't tell you that I'm, I'm any more excited. He'll talk about his style of play. Uh, it's something I'm excited about. I mean, he was passionate and pumped up at dinner uh, the first night when we had dinner with uh, Renee and Dr. Bailey and talking about the up, up tempo attacking offense and defensive style. And it's an exciting brand of basketball. We watched some of that in the Final Four. And so uh, I can't be any more excited uh, to announce Lou Hill is our next head men's basketball coach at the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Wow, that was great. That was a great introductory. I'm excited to be here today, and thank you guys for coming out and joining me. Uh, first of all, I would like to say um, thank you to Dr. Bailey and Chris King for giving me this opportunity. It's been a long journey. I've been doing this for quite some time. I won't tell you how long, because then you'll know my age. So I don't want to tell you that. And then he gave me a orange jersey. I have to get used to that. For five years, we didn't like orange. <laughs> you know, when you at Oklahoma, it's crimson, and you know that other school, I don't know the name of it, is, is orange, so I have to get used to that, and I give my kids a chance to think about it, because I brainwashed them not to like orange, but now my wife, who loves orange, says, I get to wear my orange dress now, so. so. But we'll, we'll get it together, we'll get it together. But, um, it's just, it's just an honor to be here. I mean, I see Coach Kruger, I remember when he came down the tunnel, and you gotta know Coach Kruger. He was talking to me about the job, and I was like, mm, I don't know, Coach. <laughs> I don't know, so he went back, I, he talked to Chris, and came back and talked to me, and said, they wanna win. And that's very important to me. He said, they want to win. And when you're taking a job, because I had a great job with a great head coach, it's hard to leave it, so you gotta make sure you're going into a great situation. And when he sold me, I remember we was getting ready to practice for the, um, going into the NCAA, he had me so fired up, I was half concentrating on practice and what he had just told me. So then a few days later, Chris calls me, and I'm usually energetic, but he had more energy than me, I said, I'm with it. <laughs> so I said, Coach, let's go to work, let's get the job then. So it's, it's been fantastic, it's been a great run, and you know, I'm really, really excited. And I, I keep mentioning Coach Kruger because he's been a great mentor to me. And this is where he started at. So I wanna follow in his footsteps. And the one thing I know that we haven't done yet, men, we have never been to an NCAA tournament. So guess what? That's the only thing, I don't like spring breaks. I haven't been on a spring break in a long, long time. So guess what, we gotta change that, okay? And like I told you all on my interview, the winning starts today. And the winning is just not X and O's, it's just building the culture, it's building the character, it's building the positive beliefs that we have to have. It's a family atmosphere. Everything we do 
It's about family. We got to learn to love each other, care for each other, share. And all these little words, these adjectives that I'm given, this is what I talk about all the time. This is what we learned in University of Oklahoma and UNLV since I've been with Coach Kruger for 12 years. This is, he's the best at building programs. So I learned from the best. I have the blueprint. Now I just have to get you guys to buy into the blueprint and we're going to have a lot of fun. You know, and last night I was, I was at the game, the Vapors game, and I started getting it. Vipers. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But the excitement that was around the crowd was, it was, it was crazy. So I was sitting there thinking, Chris was talking to me, and I'm thinking about how can I pack this arena, you know? And I'm sitting there saying, he said, well, this is usually how the crowd is. I said, that's not good enough. We got to make this the best home court advantage in the country, not just in the WAC. We got to dream big. We got to think big. If we just think about the WAC, then that's not good enough. We got to go. We got to be the Cinderella team. You know, when people get to the NCAA, that we're knocking off the, the big guys. You know, that's how we got to think. And if you don't think that way, then you're at the wrong spot. So, young men, get ready for a great ride and enjoy it. We're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of, it's going to be very positive, though. You know, not looking to the bench, worried about getting taken out. Only time you're going to get taken out if you don't hustle and play hard and dive on the floor, take charges. All the little things that help you win championships. You understand? And I like to um, thank the, um, everybody for coming out, especially the women's team. And I know that you guys are really, really good. And I, I hear that Final Four is in your near future. So congratulations on that. And to Coach Tidwell, thank you. He took me to lunch when I was here, him and Manny, and told me a lot of crazy stories. But I'll go with that. <laughs> I'll go with that. They're, they're funny guys. And, <laughs> and they took me to a great piece of place, too. So. But seriously, we're going we to play an attacking style. And that's what I told Chris when we came. I said, I want to lead the country in steals, defensive field goal percentage, and rebounding. And if you do those things, you win a lot of games. And then I want to just attack offensively and defensively. That's what we do. If you watched our games this year besides the last one, you see that we was probably the most fun team in the country to watch. You know, we had, a, we had the best player in the country, but our supporting cast was pretty good too. So we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to take what I learned from Coach Kruger, put it into my own personality, and have a lot of fun. And we're going to fill this arena up and just be patient with us a little bit. But while you're being patient, you're going to see it. You're going to start seeing the um, way we play, how hard we play, and the passion that we play with. And just sooner or later, you're going to start seeing the winning. The wins will start coming. But our guys going to do it the right way. They're going to go to class. I told them I don't have a lot of rules. Coach Kruger didn't have a lot of rules. But the rules I have, we're going to follow them. We're going to go to school. We're not going to sit in the back. We're going to take our headphones off. It's called respect. Okay? We... And I tell them, all the professors, that's all they want from athletes is respect. You know, you, if you're close to a C or D and they've seen you done well and worked hard, they'll give you a benefit of the doubt. So that's what we're going to preach, you know. And when we're inside the building, we're going to take our hats off. <laughs> I'm teasing. But it's, it's, it's just about building a culture. And, and the X and O's is the last place it starts. It's just building from within. And that's where the winning starts. We're going to win off the floor and on the floor. And in the community, we're going to be in the community. We're going to be out there. We're going to be in the boys clubs, the hospitals, the YMCAs. I don't know everything that they have in the Valley, but anything community related, we're going to be out there. I'm going to be out there. I'm going to be accessible to any, any of you guys. And I'm going to enjoy every minute of it. But now let me slow down a little bit and introduce and, and my, my family, who's been with me. Chris called me, and Coach was on one side, but I got a shadow that was right in my mouth. And I'm not going <laughs> to – and he's, like, touching me. What'd he say? What'd he say? What'd he say? I said, can I talk to him, please, which is my son. I think besides me being excited, he was more excited than anyone. And to my L, my sweet mama, and to my backbone, my wife. And, you know, 
there I heard Jay Wright talk the other day when about your wives. And I know what Miss Kruger been through and I know what my wife go through because sometimes half the time I'm not home. They gotta hold the fort down. So I appreciate that and I never take that for granted. And we're gonna build a great staff. I have one of my, um, we're gonna retain Jay Stedman, who I've been knowing. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all a little story. I take credit in some of Jay's development because I used to have a lot of conversations on the phone with him. You know, like, you can't do this, you can't do that, you gotta do it this way. But he's learned, he's, and, and just to see him where he is today is awesome. Um, I don't know, your wife is here, Sally, okay. Um, and we bring in Luke McKay, and his wife Sarah is here today. Luke is from Australia. Um, he's, he was with us on staff at Oklahoma, does a great job, and is gonna be really great in the community. You guys gonna love him. I mean, his personality is awesome. He's a magnet. So you're just gonna draw to him, okay? Um, but this whole, this whole situation is good. I mean, you, people saying, Lou, it's a tough job, it's a tough job. That's why they want me, that's why I want them. It's a match. We're a match made for each other. I love, I love that's where I come from, you know, tough. You, you, nothing was ever easy. So guess what, we're gonna have fun building this thing and then we're gonna make you guys really, really proud and in the valley, I can't wait. You know, I, I've seen a video. What was the young man who made the video? Dakota Slaughter. Oh, he's awesome. <laughs> I seen the video and I was, it had me pumped. I was ready to start coaching right then. <laughs> and when he started doing the V's up, I was, I was like, okay, okay. So, but, but the whole thing with all this is, is the fun that we're gonna have a change in the, the product around here. You know, we're gonna be awesome. I mean. You guys, I can't wait to get you on the floor tomorrow, you know, and, and start working you and running you and, and <laughs> teaching you and coaching you because, like I told you, the family, I mean, say the um, losing start stops now. The winning begins. And if you guys arrive with me, which I hope, we're going to do some special things for this community, for this university, and we're going to show people in the whack that we're not doormats anymore. Okay. I'm not going I'm not a long-winded guy. I had great conversations with Dr. Bailey and Chris in the interview because I'm intimate. So so but I this has been fun. Um also I have three other daughters that that's not here that I want to mention to them. Erica, Asia, Sierra. I love you guys. I love you. Fees up. Well, uh, we would like to thank everybody for their attendance today. Uh, for members of the media, uh, Dr. Bailey, Coach Kruger, Coach Hill, and myself will be available for Q&A up here at the stage. Uh, for those, the fans, supporters, uh, former players, if you want to uh, move out to the lobby area, uh, kind of congregate a little bit, uh, meet, meet, uh, Coach Hill's wife and family uh, will be out there very shortly to uh, meet and greet with each of you. Thank you again for your attendance today. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. See you again.